Brian's Not So Logic have published three videos where he tries to prove that GPS wouldn't work on a globe. And now he released one more. This one I want to show now is how it actually works. In this video, he tries to explain how GPS works in reality on his flat pizza world. His previous videos on this topic have been so damn stupid and his friend Nathan Oakley thinks they are great and he have had discussion on it on Nathan's live show and obviously none of those fools in Nathan's panel understand the stupidity in his videos. So let's have a look at the video where Brian thinks that he proves that GPS works only on flat earth and how it works on a flat earth. Let's start. This one I want to show now is how it actually works. Okay, because even what I showed uh, the last in my last video, I think the video was before that as well. About how it, how I probably all all three, sorry, not my last one, but the the last the last three videos about how it could actually how they say it works. Could it could actually work that way on a flat plane? So according to Brian, GPS would work on a flat Earth, but a not on a globe. But that would require. Basically, we'd have to pre-assume there was there was some form of satellites, which there may be. Uh, there's definitely balloon satellites. All GPS satellites orbit the globe in 12 hours with a very high precision. But according to Brian, it's balloons. How do these balloons work? They are moving in a very exact pace in a very exact direction. It's not possible with a balloon. Um, and there's definitely airplanes that have their own coordinates, uh, coordinates of their, their a sub point coordinates, I should say, a point on the ground, a GP coordinates. So all those planes receive their position from signals from the ground. The ones over the oceans, over Greenland, where are all the transmitters? Um, you know, things like that. So it is possible that we could use those things. And I'm sure airplanes are definitely using uh, balloon satellites. Um, you know, and airplanes have GPS receivers on their top and their bottom. And that's a lie, Brian. All are on the top of the planes. Uh, so on their base and their top. Um, so they're definitely getting, uh, we're receiving, they can, the see the bit is they can also be receiving um, information from other planes that are at higher altitudes as well. Uh, do I understand Brian correctly? Do you think that planes are sending out GPS information that other planes uses for navigation? Mm. Yes, planes send out information. For instance, you have this TCAS system. So airplanes can be aware of planes in their surroundings to avoid collisions and so on. You know, the, the borders don't think these things out. Like everything is satellites in an orbit around the globe, but they, they have no understanding of reality. Um, they're a very lost group of people, the people we deal with. Um, but either way, I mean, it is well, who we have to deal with. The ones who don't understand reality is people like you, Nathan Oakley, and the rest of the Flat Earth fools. But airplanes obviously w could be receiving GPS from other airplanes that are flying at higher altitudes. Um, and that's a, a big purpose, a big part of the purpose of them having. And I'm pretty sure they do receive signals from other, um, uh, other uh, aircraft. 
Um, I can't remember if they definitely do, but I'm pretty sure they do. So Brian admits that he haven't checked the facts regarding airplanes and GPS. He's guessing, he's presenting his fantasies. Thank you, Brian, to confirm that. Um, because I can't remember uh, all that information right now. Because uh, it's been, it was last year I was looking at it and the year before. Uh, either way, they are they would be receiving information from balloons and from anything, right? Anything that's above them. But they also receive information from the ground, right? Um, and a lot of the ballers didn't even know that until I told them. Um, and I'm sure some other flat earthers told them as well. They just don't listen you know, to those people. So I can't say I'm the only person, but um, <clears throat> I'm sure I'm sure someone else told them. But I know I definitely told them. Uh, that is for definite. <clears throat> and I reckon most of them didn't hear it before anyway. But before I said it, either way. Anyway. Let's move off with the ballers, right, and what what they want reality to be. And it's not our fault that reality is not what they want it to be. That's not to do with us. Uh, <coughs> this is how GPS actually works, right? No, Brian, that's not how GPS works. And you have proven to be a fool who present your own fantasies. And you have admitted that you don't do any research at all. You have no interest in reality and how things work. You are a big joke. Because you think you're an expert in navigation and you don't know anything about navigation at all. And the same goes for your silly guru, Nathan Oakley, who believes this rubbish too. Oh dear. Okay, I can't handle more stupidity this time. I will be back soon. Hope you liked the video. See you soon. Bye.